Hello and welcome to another Orbiter flight video series. Um, today we're going to be taking the XR5 Vanguard, uh, which is just a larger, basically a larger upgrade version of the XR2 Ravenstar. I'm going to take this uh, from here in Mars and we're going to fly out to Jupiter uh, and then eventually land on the moon Europa. Uh, why Europa? Well, it's because the, it's the only uh, moon out there in Jupiter that I could find a base uh, to download and while well, I've flown out to the other moons uh, it's just not really as exciting it's a little anticlimactic to not land at a base so we're going to Europa uh, before we get started I just want to note a couple of quick things um, first of all I wouldn't really call this video a tutorial um, I suppose if you have the knowledge to fly from Earth to Mars, then you can definitely view it that way. I will be talking about what I'm doing, uh, kind of going over my thought processes and things like that. Um, but it is kind of expected that you know a little bit about how, how Orbiter works uh, to get the most out of this video. Um, I'm definitely not an expert, uh, but you know I am uh, improving and I, I make these videos because I just think that when I learn, it's most beneficial to me to see a video gone from um, start to finish you know like the entire flight all the little things even the mistakes uh, just really helps there's always like that one little thing that I don't know what to do and then uh, that's what uh, trips me up but anyways uh, enough of my rambling let's get started so we're here in uh, Olympus the date is uh, today it's Friday January 6th uh, 2023 and like I said, we need to plan our trip to Jupiter. So Jupiter is so large, you know, the gas giants. That what's different about the outer planets from the inner planets is that you don't really, I mean, you can't land on a gas giant, obviously, but also they're just so big that you end up getting these giant orbits uh, around them, and um, it just makes more sense to land on a moon. But we'll talk more about that when we get there. Let's uh, go ahead and do our planning. Uh, I already have external cooling turned on. Um, let's pull it transx. Okay, we're gonna go select target to escape, like usual, and then we're gonna select Jupiter. All right. Pull up the encounter. Uh, okay, let's go to prograde, and then I'll we'll use the Ottoman to get me into the ballpark, and then I'll probably have to turn that off eventually and um, to fine tune it. But this always helps me get close. Uh, let's go to eject date. Leave them. Actually, let's switch it to rough. Okay, it's kind of close, but I want it to be closer to um, uh, Haman transfer, I guess is how you say that. Um, that way that our velocity when we get there is lower and we have to use less fuel. So let's, oh, actually. See what happens if we tinker with prograde a bit. Just looking at that minimum altitude. Oh, uh, you know what? Also, is the it's way off the plane. So let's see if that helps. No, not the other way. We're using too much now. Okay, uh, I am going to put this back. Ottoman. Let's try to find a better date. Oh. Mm. Let's just see. 
curiosity's sake, what happens if we keep going another round? Pretty close. You know, this is always really exciting to watch, but this is very, oh, you know, it's, I don't like that view. This is this is pretty solid ballpark here. Uh, I'll show you real quick. So, like I said, we're not going to get super close to Jupiter. Um, I'm going to pull up info. Go to celestial body, Sun, Jupiter, and we're going to Europa, right? Europa. Oh, actually, I didn't even do that. This will show. Although, let's just really quick. Um, so the inclination is 2.24. That'll be useful. Right now, inclination's way off. So um, yeah, I want that. But actually, what I was trying to do, or what I meant to do, is here. So we'll go to orbit, reference Jupiter, and then target Europa. That will give us, let me switch those real quick. So OK, so here we have the PA and the APA of Europa around Jupiter. So eventually, we're going to have to get down to around 600,000 um, kilometers, right? That's what that million meters, I guess. 600,000 kilometers. Um, we don't want to go exactly there. It's kind of like when you're rendezvousing uh, with the ISS. You want to be a little bit higher or below. I mean, in this case, it's going to be higher. Uh, and that way, when, you, when I get into orbit around Jupiter, I can plan a maneuver to get into Europa, and uh, we won't be going at the same speed. It's, it'll make more sense when we get there, but um, eventually we're going to get there. So the reason why I'm talking about that is because right now our minimum altitude is 964, which is probably an okay place to be, but I want to fix this inclination to get that closer to zero, or I guess it was 2.4. Uh, so let's see what we can do. That's not doing anything. Prograde it is. Bring that down. going back and forth to get my altitude and inclination in a better spot. I guess we can overshoot it a little bit. Okay. It's doing less now. Now this is doing Um, that's, that's fine for now. Uh, let's see. So this has, with, with Transex in general, I mean, you saw it in the Mars videos, but it's even worse for Jupiter because it's so far away. Um, further out things are, less accurate it is. So we just want to get in the ballpark, and then we'll do our mid-course corrections, and we'll get it more uh, precise. So right now the MJD is 59, 950, and this is set for us to leave a... 61, 234. That's a huge, huge jump. This is all going to be 
this is all going to get screwed up here in a second, but hopefully it's close. Just keep that. Let's go to Scenario Editor, Date, and let's go. So, oh, hold on. What day was that again? Do like sixty one. All the doors are closed. Sixty one. Let's do our normal about the day before. We'll just go ahead and go six, one, two, three, four, even. Six, well, I screwed that up. Come on. Six, one, two, three, four. Six, one, two, three, four, right? Great. Okay, cool. That looks good. So now let's do some fuel planning and jump in the virtual cockpit. Uh, so our time of flight down here is 1,018 days. Uh, that means we're going to need some locks. And then I'm going to get just enough locks to have a little bit of leeway um, because when we get there we're going to need some time to rendezvous with Europa. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to completely fill this sucker up with fuel. So we'll go payload, payload editor, and then I kind of like to just come down here with the editor open. So right now we have 14 days, right? Oh, and also something that I didn't, I learned while using the XR5, I've never used it before, kind of silly, um, it will empty its tanks from the lower number to the higher. So lower numbers first, we'll go, we'll go first, right? But all the higher numbers are sitting on top of the lower numbers, so it, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, essentially, you'll see it when I have to eject um, the fuel containers, but they'll basically like just go right through. It, it should have been the other way around. They, sh they should have been designed to take the higher numbers first, but whatever, it's just kind of a minor. Minor complaint. Um, so let's go to locks. Locks tanks full. Uh, what did I say? It was a thousand. Okay, so we're at twelve fourteen. That's quite a bit more than we're gonna need. So I'm actually going to dump Warning. Some locks. locks. Uh, Warning. help with the Locks weight. Warning. Locks Warning. Uh, that Locks should be good. Dump. That's probably more than enough, but um, it'll make me feel more comfortable in case I need to spend some time running and moving with Europa. Uh, okay. So we got locks, so like I said, the rest of it's going to be fuel. Main fuel. Oh, and you can kind of watch the fuel go up, and you also see the ship's mass go up as well, which is kind of interesting. Burn through it. It's interesting because you can hold a ton of fuel in this vessel, um, but you know, it's sort of like a catch 22. It's like the more fuel you have, the more you'll have to burn because your ship is just so heavy. So I'm going to go through a ton just getting off the planet uh, and doing the initial burn. Uh, to go towards Jupiter, but you know, it is what it is. So we're done with that. So fuel planning's good. So now we're gonna go back into Transex and we need to set up our, yeah, our escape plan or eject plan. Um let's first Go set that to plan. Perhaps distance. 
200 kilometers above the surface, so 35, 90, 1, 2, 3, there we go, and then Yep, so this is just the same as any other flight. Uh, I'm going to try to get my heading, the eject orientation, as close to 90 degrees as possible. And then we will take off and head a heading of 90 degrees, get into orbit, and, you know, Bob's your uncle. Right now, eek, not, not good. Sweet. Okay. I don't even have to wait that long. Let's warp ahead of time a little bit. More. You can always tell you're getting close when this um, gets really sensitive with the controls. So that's close enough for me. Uh, let's just do one brief check before we take off. I'm going to turn back on the HUD. The surface. Uh, we got everything. Oh, let's open up hover doors. Need that. I already did fuel. And yeah, we look like we're good to go. I think I'm going to end the video right here. That was just the planning phase. And the next phase, we'll get up in orbit around Mars and get ready to do our uh, burn to Jupiter. So I'll see you in the next part. Thanks for watching.